What's up man 25 gamers welcome to today's video today we're going to be covering how to blitz from man-to-man -man coverage in our men 25 uh, our man 25 scheme of the week this week which comes from the um, excuse me the 46 playbook and the play is the 46 normal inside blitz I really really like this play uh, for getting pressure against uh, out of a man coverage so what we want to do with this play is we want to just basically base the line and that's all we want to do. Uh, one thing I also like to do is spread my defensive line uh, just to kind of make it look somewhat similar to the rest of my plays here. And uh, I also like to take this guy here, the safety, and kind of throw him in a zone of some sort wherever I think they're going to go. Oftentimes it's a hook, but he's my user player. So I'm just going to kind of spy the tight end myself. And you see this is going to generate quick, heavy pressure at the quarterback. One other thing that people uh, sometimes like to do is drop one of the defensive ends and contain and you see that's going to generate the a gap pressure uh, that a lot of people like and if, when you do it like that uh, i think you can also uh, potentially let's see if you can actually spy a player maybe get a spy on the field still have that oh no you cannot do that so you just want to note that you just want to contain that left of screen defensive end and you can generate that quick a gap pressure at the quarterback so let's look at this one more time we like to base a line quarterback contain this left of screen defensive end and then we'll spread our defensive line and then we're going to take our user control player here and we're just going to throw him in some kind of zone and we want to kind of user whoever he is supposedly guarding so here we're going to use the tight end and you see we're going to get that quick pressure uh, at the quarterback i think one of my guys actually got tripped up uh, but that's not that big of a deal because um, we still got that pressure in the quarterback. Let's take a look at this one more time. And again, you see that quick a get pressure that we're trying to generate uh, out of the 46 norm. We are setting six at five blockers. But one of the things about this blitz is if they block a halfback, I do believe that this backer on the left side should blitz anyways. We should still generate that plus one advantage. It's been a pretty nice feature that the 46 normal has had that not a whole lot of other blitzes have but basically you're always going to get that plus one advantage you don't want to uh, base a line and press but you can base a line and i think that if as long as you only base a line that guy that's supposed to be covering the the halfback will blitz um as long as you don't do anything else so you just want to base a line uh contain this guy jordan here user control this guy and say they block the halfback you should still generate some pressure the guy should still rush the quarterback and you see you get the sack and we are off to the races for a fumble return for touchdown so that's how i like to blitz with our man coverage shell in man 25 on the 46 normal inside blitz thanks for watching